everyone. Welcome to the Brave Pick Demo Center here in Hebron, Kentucky. We're really excited to invite you in today to get a better look into the four walls of our facility where you will get to see the Brave Pick Auto Picker live, up close and impersonal, and really get a good understanding to how the technology and the solution itself works, but also get a better understanding into the processes that we use every single day to make sure that you as the fulfillment teams are able to meet your customers' expectations with as little effort and as little people as possible. So come along with me, let's take a look at what I have going on behind me and get a better look at the Bright Pick Auto Picker. So the coolest part about the Bright Pick solution is actually the fact that we're the only ones that can do in-aisle robotic picking. So for in-aisle robotic picking, you're gonna see the auto picker travel autonomously out into the aisle. It's gonna use suction to extract the tote off of the shelving. And then once the chassis lowers down, you're actually gonna see a red flash. And that's our proprietary camera taking a 3D model of the SKU tote to drive the most successful robotic pick on the first try. So the robotic arm is going to articulate over, complete the pick, and then move it into the order tote. And then that pick is complete. And it moves on to either the next pick or to the next workflow once that tote is restored within the system. So because we're able to do all of the picking robotically in aisle, we're actually able to get higher efficiency because we're not wasting time traveling to and from a static location or having to rely on a human in a designated zone to work either with a manual cart or with another collaborative system. The question that comes up a lot is, what happens when there are items that can't be robotically picked or are just better suited to be picked by a human? So for every one of our applications, we build a good person station as part of the solution. So the good person station, just like everything else, are made to be extremely flexible. When the auto pickers arrive, the human pickers are told right here on a machine interface what the pick is that they need to complete in the quantity that they need to make sure that they're picking accurately on the first try. This makes it extremely easy for associates to be able to walk up to the station, pick an item, mark it as complete, and it's ready to go to the next pick. From a training perspective as well, you can really take only a few minutes to get new associates onboarded onto the Good Person Station and know that they're able to pick your orders accurately and ensure the highest level of customer satisfaction. Another thing about the Good Person Station is that, again, they're built to be extremely flexible. So we have a couple different configurations for the Good Person Station. Our most popular and the one that gets us the highest level of productivity actually enables a human associate to be fed from four different locations around them at one on time, enabling us to achieve up to 350 plus presentations per hour, helping the associate on one shift to get the highest level of productivity and the highest level of throughput without ever having to leave the station. Once all of the picks are completed by the Bright Pick solution, the auto pickers are going to bring the completed order totes to our packout station, which is typically the last workflow for the Bright Pick solution. So here you're gonna see the auto picker raise the order tote to a specific shelf. It's gonna drop that off. It's gonna let your human associates know that this order is pick complete and ready for either greater consolidation with larger products or ready to be scanned and validated before it's shipped to your customers. So for the packout station, just like everything else in the Bright Pick solution, they're built to be highly configurable and scalable. So we can do a simple packout station like you see here. If you have an increase in volume or peak seasons or anything else where you would need to have an influx of packout stations, we can always build additional ones right at the location or we can place them throughout multiple locations within a single footprint. What's great also about our packout stations is that it doesn't have to be a shelving system. We can also drop completed work or completed order totes onto existing conveyor, or if you're looking to install a new conveyor, we can drop off once they're installed. So the system is really built to be able to make sure that everything from the outbound side is as effective and as efficient as possible for your associates to do what they do best to make sure your customers are happy at the end of the day. So in addition to the picking process, we're also able to automate the storage, the put away, and the replenishment workflows within the system as well. So right now, we're standing at our decant station, which the decant station for us is where we induct the SKUs into the system. So as you can see, I have Dennis working beside me and he just married this specific SKU to this tote. And what happened was he was delivered a case of product. He broke case for that specific SKU he stored it within the tote, and now the system is, now knows when data scan this product that this will be ready for pickup for the auto pickers to move this tote back into the system. So for the totes themselves, you may have noticed that they're pretty standard totes. They're the same type of totes that you could walk into your local hardware store and pick up for yourselves. 
So for us, we're able to do a couple things with the totes. Typically, we're able to store a single skew, single tote for our products. We also have the ability for robotic Bippy to do two skews per tote. So the robot would then be able to essentially pick two different skews, either at the same time or different times from one single tote. And that gives us the ability to build a little bit extra density and capacity into the system, making sure that we're making the most effective and efficient solution for your operations. Something else that's really cool about our system that not a lot of people actually know about is that we use dynamic slatting as part of our Intuition software. So the Intuition software is gonna layer underneath your inventory management system, and it's gonna look across your order profiles as well as their velocities to figure out the best placement of the SKUs within the system. So for robotically picked items, you're gonna see that your fast movers or your A's and B's are gonna typically be dynamically slotted here in these middle rows or what we consider the sweet spot for the bright pick auto pickers. For your slower moving items, your C's and your D's, they're gonna to start to gravitate towards the lower shelves here at the bottom as well as the highest shelves at the top. What's also interesting is for any SKUs that we know are always best picked by a human, you're gonna see that those SKUs start to be dynamically slotted as close to your goods to person station or stations, depending on your application, and to minimize the travel between the pickup location from the SKU tote and the drop off to the human at the goods to person. So that we're really eliminating, again, the travel distance per pick and making sure that we're increasing the overall efficiency and throughput of the system. What's great is that because our system needs so little human interaction to be able to run and to run effectively, we actually have the robots working tirelessly overnight to dynamically slot and make sure that all of the SKUs are ready for when you and your team walk in in the morning to have the most successful shift possible from the first time that you clock in. So as you can see and look around on the floor, there's no QR codes, no wire guidance, no magnetic tape, no other form of navigational infrastructure that we would need to have the robots move autonomously and safely throughout the warehouse. So as the robots are moving around, they're utilizing the LiDAR technology, which is the same navigation system that a smart car would use to dynamically avoid any obstructions that come into its way. So if I, as a human, walk into the picking area, you can see that the robots are able to move and travel autonomously around me without causing any risk or threat to my safety or my well-being. Which is great because a lot of the warehouses that we're designing for are brownfield solutions where cutting up the floor, you know, adding any type of navigational infrastructure is just not realistic for what they're trying to achieve within their existing space. So we're able to really quickly drop in the robots. Once the system is mapped, we can easily move the furniture as well if the layout for the building needed to be changed. And we can know that the humans that are operating amongst the robots every single day are safe and at no risk to their own safety. Let's talk a little bit about our shelving. So our shelving, just like many other aspects of our solution, were built to be extremely flexible and extremely scalable. So the shelving itself is standard shelving, the same type of shelving that you could walk into a hardware store to pick up, same type of shelving that honestly I have in my garage at home. So it has the ability to go up to 10 feet in height for Buildings where we maybe don't have that clear space available. We have an existing deployment where we were able to utilize their existing mezzanine, which was about six feet in height. So we were able to utilize the existing clear space that they had, deploy the system, and we did a six foot shelving for that specific application. So we have the ability again to go up to 10 feet. And what's great is because the shelving is so simple, it's so pliable, you can easily unbolt it from the floor, move it to a new location in the warehouse, to a new facility or simply just add shelving to the existing location that you have it deployed in. And it takes a matter of a few days to install. So once it's up and running, you just drop in the auto pickers, connect them to the Wi-Fi, and they're good to go. So it's really, again, built to make sure that for businesses of all sizes that need that flexibility, that need that scalability, that need to be able to make changes really fast and really easily, they don't have to worry about shelving that is bolted down and monumented into their building. You know, this isn't an industrial racking or any type of engineered structure. It's simple shelving that's really lightweight and you can move it when you need to. Density is something that is becoming increasingly more important for our customers every single day. So as you can see here, the space between our totes is fairly minimal. And the reason for that is because we actually use suction for the extraction of our totes. So the suction would attach right here on the flat face. 
And if there are customers that need additional storage density or capacity within their existing footprint, we have the ability to take our existing shelving and build another shelf-supported mezzanine right on top. So a multi-level structure, essentially, utilizing the same simple shelving for the brake pick solution, just built right on top of each other. So we're getting the storage capacity not only from the placement of the totes being so close together per shelf, but also from the ability to go higher than a normal six-foot racking, and then again, being able to build on top of it. Just like the most productive worker, Brake Pick Auto Picker does need to also rest and recharge. So our auto pickers are able to autonomously drive themselves to the charging station when they need to get an additional charge into their system. We also use something called opportunistic charging, which means that even if our robots are showing a high enough battery life, we're able to actually utilize slower times throughout the operations to have them get an even higher charge, meaning that when we need them for the highest efficiency, we are at 100% ready to go and there's no risk to the throughput for the operation. So that concludes our tour. We really appreciate you guys taking some time to come along with us to see exactly how the Bright Pick solution works and to get a better look at the processes that we use to drive fulfillment for our customers every single day. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you thought of the tour and maybe what you guys wanna see next. We'd love to do another video just like this for you and we'd love to know what you'd like to see.